My name's Ray Williams. I'm known as Racing Ray Williams. We had the poster on the wall, you know, with the turbo Porsche was the thing that you'd always look at and, and dream of getting a turbo Porsche. I couldn't afford one for many, many, many years until I was very lucky, sold a business, had a few dollars. Went to see Colin Kiltrap. The timing was dead right. This beast from Bahrain came in, the ivory beast from Bahrain. Fantastic. Yes, turbos do rule at the moment. <laughs> okay, so this model is a, is a 911 turbo, referred to as 930. It's called the 930 Widowmaker, they named it back then. They came out with 300 horsepower and we raced it successfully for, for many years, totally standard, won a lot of races, right through till 94, so 88 to 94. So I chose this vehicle for the land speed record because it's a factory, to me it's a factory hot rod. It's got the beautiful big flare guards, but it's also incredibly safe. They come out with, with um, the brakes on these cars, standard, are often 24 hour 917 Porsche race car, and they were so successful they fitted them to all the 930 Porsches. Here we are, full leather, and I raced it like this. It started off racing it just with these seats and everything in it, and as it became more successful, we had to put race seats in it and fit a roll cage to do the land speed record. Basically standard 3.3 turbo motor, unbelievable. They, they come out of the factory with 300 horsepower, with a bit of Kiwi ingenuity, massive intercooler, Motec um, management and a big turbo. And we've, got, we've doubled that, we've got 600 horsepower, sometimes more, but for, for now, for the road, it's detuned back to 520 horsepower, which is absolutely plenty. It'll still wind up past 300k very quickly. We put a, we put a, signature, a signature on the seat here, which is a little bit cheeky, but hey, it's, um, it's the history of the car. And it's a beautiful turbo. And that, that engine built by Peter Booth, he's an absolute magician. And we doweled the block when we rebuilt it so it can't fret or move. But um, it's had to have new pistons and barrels a few times. Because once you, if you run a lot of boost, they can detonate and that just eats away the piston and the head and the. But with a Porsche, it's no problem. You buy all those parts, individual parts, new pistons and barrels, brand new again. Still only a 3.3, same factory pistons and barrels. Porsche stuff all the way through, uh, except Carrillo Conrods, they're a very strong Conrod. It's just a beautiful, beautiful car.